Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is problem solving. We're going to add and subtract some money here. So this is uh, lesson 311. Okay, here we go. Here's our common core strand. And our, our, our question is, how can we make a table to help us organize and keep track of bank accounts? Okay, so uh, so Mr. Bullock's uh, bank account has a balance of $442.37. Today he wrote a check for $63.92 and made a deposit of $350. The deposit is um, you, you put money in the bank. Mr. Bullock says he now has $729.45 in his account to make a table to determine if Mr. Bullock is correct. Okay, so we're going to uh, read the problem. What do we need to find? Well, we need to find the balance after um, after we wrote the check of $63.92 and then uh, he deposited $350. Okay, and then uh, what information are we going to use? Well, we need to uh, use the beginning balance of $442.37, the check that he wrote, and the deposit that he made. So going to be doing some adding and subtracting. So how are we going to use this information? We'll make a table and use the information to subtract the check he wrote and then add the deposit he made and see if it comes up to the balance that uh, Mr. Bullock says down here, $729.45. Okay, so here's a, a typical checking account. I don't know if you've ever seen a, check, a checkbook balancing account right here. It kind of looks like this. Uh, part of it's gray, part of it's not, part of it's gray, part of it's not. And they, they do that so um, you can keep... Um, uh, you can keep your eye on the on these rows a little bit easier. Okay, so here's the balance, $442.37 right here. What we're going to do is subtract off this check right here. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll subtract off that, and that'll tell us, uh, and then we'll add uh, the deposit in there after that, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, subtract um, uh, $63.92. Okay, so I did some borrowing and stuff. 7 minus 2 is 5. And 3 minus 9, we had to borrow from this 2, and it became this 1. So this 3 became a 13. 13 minus 9 is 4. Notice the decimals are lined up, so there's a decimal right there. And then this was a 1. 1 minus 3, we had to borrow again and make this uh, 4 a 3. And this 1 became an 11. So an 11 minus 3 is 8. Okay, and then we uh, 3 minus 6, we had to borrow again to make from this 4, made it a 3, so this 3 became that 13 right here. So 13 minus uh, 6 is, is 7. Okay, and then finally we had 3 minus 0 is $378.45. So now we're going to go ahead and add this deposit in right here. Okay, so let's add that in. And then uh, as long as we did our arithmetic right, uh, we get uh, uh, Mr. Bullock's balance as $728.45. So... Uh, Mr. Bullock's correct balance is $728.45. So how can we tell if this answer is reasonable? Well, it was really close to what Mr. Bullock had, $729.45. He was just off a dollar right there. Okay, so it's important to keep your balance, uh, your checkbook nice and balanced so you don't, they call it overdraft, you don't write checks uh, for more money that you have in your account because the bank will charge you a lot of money for writing uh, overdraft uh, check. So anyway, here's another one. Heidi is buying a snack for herself and five friends. Each snack costs a dollar twenty-five. So how much does six snacks cost? So we'll make a table to find the cost of six snacks. Okay. So let's read the problem. What do we need to find? Well, we need to find uh, the cost of those six snacks, and they're a dollar twenty-five each. So what information are we going to use? Well, she bought uh, six snacks, and each cost a dollar twenty-five. So how are we going to use this information? We'll make another table to find the cost of the six snacks here. So here's a table right here. So um, here's six snacks going down right here, and each uh, snack cost $1.25. So what I did is I made a, a total a column for a total right here. So this is $1.25, not $125. It's $1.25. And then we'll add this $1.25. So $1.25 plus $1.25 is $2.50. 25 cents is a nice compatible number, so when I add, this is going to become 75 cents and add a dollar, so it's going to be 375. And we'll keep going, and it's going to get five dollars, and then add another dollar twenty-five is six twenty-five. Add another dollar twenty-five is seven fifty. So all of those add up to seven dollars and fifty cents. Okay, so all those uh, six snacks will cost uh, seven dollars and fifty cents right there. So what if uh, Mildred said? that 12 snacks cost $25. Is this statement correct? And explain. Well, and then we'll do one of these guys at a time here. Well, well going back to this right here, if 6 snacks uh, cost uh, $7.50, then 12 snacks would be double 6. So if we doubled $7.50, that would be $15. 
Okay, and then so uh, Mildred says that 12 snacks cost $25, so she is not correct. Okay, Wendy has $10. How many snacks can she buy? Well, let's go back to that table right there. We can see that two snacks cost $2.50 right there, and all six snacks cost $7.50. And then so if we add two snacks with six snacks, that's going to be uh, $7.50 plus $2.50, which is $10. So Wendy can buy six plus two snacks or eight snacks right there. All right, let's try one more, you guys. Chris and Monica decided to play pool at Phil's Pool Hall. They each need to rent a pool stick and one table. Monica is a member of Phil's Pool Hall. So if Chris pays for both of them with $20, what change uh, uh, should he receive? Okay, so here's a over here. So the regular cost of a table um, is $9.75, but if you're a member and Monica is a member, they're only going to charge you $7.50. So we're going to do this $7.50 right here. Okay, and the pool sticks are $3.95 if you're not a member, and Chris is not a member, and then Monica is a member, so she's going to be charged uh, $2.95 right there. So we're going to calculate the total cost right here. Okay, the table is $7.50, and Monica's pool stick is uh, $2.95. Remember, Monica's the member, and Chris is not, so Chris has to pay regular on that pool stick. So that's $3.95, so let's add all those up, and we get... Um, uh, $14.40 right there. Now remember, we're looking for the change. So Chris gives him a 20, so we're going to subtract. So I know 20 minus 15 is 5. So it's going to be a little bit more than 5, uh, $5.60 and, and when we subtract those right there. So that's how much change he'll get back. All right, you guys. Hey, if you guys can, it encourages me to keep making these. If you can like this, if you're on a YouTube site, uh, that would be great. And if you're on my YouTube site, then please subscribe. Take care, everybody.